What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with a very special episode of Headphones Neil Reviews in that I wanted to share my initial thoughts for the first two episodes for the Hawkeye um, TV series streaming on Disney+. Plus. So as far as I can tell, it's going to be a limited run series like WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So Hawkeye, as far as I can tell, is going to be a 10 episode season. So this review is just to share my initial thoughts and then I'll do an overarching review once the season ends. But as far as these first two episodes go, I thought it was a pretty good introduction for the initial meetup for Clint and Kate Bishop goes. So we have Kate's origin story as far as um, how she got into archery. Um, as far as her seeing Hawkeye, Clint Barton during the events of the first Avengers, taking out all the um, foot soldier people. I want to say the Kree, but now I'm drawing a blank on it. And um, getting inspired by him to go into archery and becoming the best archer she can. We see that ultimately later when she's in school and she um, rings the uh, bell in the bell tower with unintended consequences there. But overall that whole um, story arc and then she also um, works on other talents like martial arts and getting our black belt and all of that. Um, and then we see Clint, who's now older, um, who's losing his hearing, so a nice little bit of, or a nice little touch there as far as showing the effects of all the stuff that he's been through, being a human, not actually having any superpowers, so the effects of the life that he's led are now catching up to him. Um, I did think that the scene with the Avengers musical was kind of funny and ridiculous. I initially thought that he was kind of tuning out because it was corny and he lived those events and it's not all um, glamorous like they're making it out to seem and then that's where they introduce the whole thing with his hearing aid so a nice touch there and then ultimately coming up with the bad guys not sure not knowing why or um, how um, Clint lost the his Ronin outfit and the sword and all of that and how it got onto the black market what's the deal with the tracksuit mafia which is a funny if not simple name and I like the self-referential stuff there so overall the long and the short of it is that the first two episodes provided an interesting start to the season um, and it's basically just going to be a passing the torch moment. I was trying to think of a, another show or style as far as what this is going to be. It's not necessarily a buddy cop movie just because they're not necessarily buddies yet. And I don't know that 10 episodes is enough to build on that. But it's the ultimately it's the passing the torch moment. But what they're going to develop as far as the relationship or pass the torch or um, is... Clint's going to pass the torch over to her and then he's going to be kind of a behind the scenes advisor because he now realizes that he can't live this life anymore and that's the purpose of the whole uh, scene with the hearing aid. He wants to spend more time with his family so that's the whole thing with the promise with his daughter so all of that sort of stuff so that makes me curious to see how the rest of the season is going to go and how they deal with all of that um, and maybe even fine tuning her or Kate Bishop's abilities because of her semi-success, semi-failure with initially with the bandits to reclaim the, I think the medallion or whatever it was. So overall, I'm generally happy with it. I'd probably give it a grade of about a B just because I'm not sure where they're going to take it from here. So overall, good. There's nothing really negative I can say about it. I liked everyone's acting and the whole presentation of it and the effects of Clint's life and then Kate's um, troubles with her mom and then the marriage and all of that so good um, point good kind of, um, contrast between the two so um, overall I want to say I recommend watching it if you're into his character the whole MCU all of that stuff um, in general I don't know that I want to say that there was anything bad about it like I said it's one of the things that was too early to tell so that's why I figured give it a grade of about a B so they can definitely um, improve the story and take it from here I, I mean for me the whole thing like with the hearing aid was a definite standout positive moment as far as showing the effects of the life and then the whole thing with the tracksuit bandits being your um, villain of the week kind of acting 
Um, so it all depends on where they take him from here. I'm not sure who that lady was at the end of the second episode, so I did have to look that up to kind of get what the internet's thoughts are. But um, kind of try to go. I'm going into a blank as far as I'm, I'm not saying that the internet's wrong in this particular case, but I'm kind of holding out judgment as far as seeing how they're going to tie this into everything else and how they're going to introduce. Kate Bishop's character into the rest of the MCU. So that's all there is for this particular review. So like I said, I just wanted to get it out initially or give my thoughts on the show based on two episodes. So far, so good. Um, so I can't wait to see how it goes from here. Um, I guess they're going to release every Wednesday, it seems like. Um, probably one episode a week so once the show ends i'll do that final review so that's all there is for this particular uh review so if you want to get in touch with me comment on the um review provide your feedback what did you like didn't like or anything like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the web- website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff but thanks for tuning into this particular episode and until next time <laughs>